Oh, are you? Fitzy, I think we need to take the sweater off, okay? There you go, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, you can wear it, you can just not wear it for one second, okay? Freezing. There you go, Fitz. Oh, yes! Look at you! Look at your dog! Oh, see? He wants the sweater! I know, he's sad. I mean, do you, I feel like if he wears it, he'll get bullied. Wear it on the walk? You think he's gonna get bullied? I don't know. I mean, I guess you can. You can wear it if you want to wear it on the walk. Oh my god! Mom, I'm kidding. He just literally put his head through it. Yeah, he's a mom I'm naked. He's like, wait, what the heck? Okay, Fitz. We put the sweater goes back on. You got your way. Good boy. Hi guys, don't forget I'm having a giveaway on Instagram right now. I posted a photo and I'm giving away a $250 Visa gift card. This giveaway is going until Sunday and then I will announce a winner in a vlog or on Instagram actually. So go enter. Fitz won the battle. His Christmas sweater stays on. It is unbelievable. Anyways, welcome to another vlog or vlogmas vlog. This vlog is actually going to be combined a few days because we just have so many uploads coming at you this month and that's how it's working with the scheduled programming. Um, if you guys are new here, subscribe. We are taking the dogs to White Rock, which is a lake in Dallas that I love. I actually used to go all the time and I feel like I haven't gone since you got here. I used to go all the time. Yeah, I don't know why I stopped. I don't know. I don't really know. But I'm wearing my Aritzia puffer, um, mainly because I feel like I bought this puffer and I only wore it when we went to New York last year. And so now I'm trying to get more wear out of it. Fits. Oh my gosh, he's literally so cute. He just wants a sweater on. I know. So mom, don't take away my sweater. I know, don't worry Fitz, you can always wear your sweater. I hope he doesn't get bullied at the dog park. Why does he get bullied? Everyone's gonna be jealous. True. Be like, why are you guys naked and I'm not? Yeah, that's so true. Okay. It's a white rock. We are at the part with the boat, so it's like a little bit, I don't think it's as pretty because there's a bunch of boats here. We've got, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got Fitz here. He's actually doing pretty well. Fitz has recently started being wild on a leash. He's like perfectly trained as far as like in the house and stuff. And he's a great dog. He really is like everyone's dream dog. I'm convinced. It's what, like when you say you want a dog, this is what you want. But he has like a little bit of a lunging problem on a leash. He's just so excited to see everyone. So if any of you guys have any um, good advice, please let me know. I mean, look at this angel. So pretty. Fitz, come on, boy. Okay, we're not going to a dock right now, even though there's so many. Um, but Fitz, oh my gosh, dude, look, it's water right here, Fitz. Have you seen a boat before? Fitz, he's literally just not paying attention to me. I wonder if he would try to run in the water. Fitz, what do you think? What do you think that is? very unamused. I just cannot believe he's actually wearing this sweater right now, guys. It's just, it's really something. Guys, Fitz fully sits like a human. Like, are you kidding? I finally got the five minute journal. I've heard so many good things about this. So I decided to finally pick it up. Like, I know it's been around for years. I'll keep you guys posted. I don't know if I like it. Guys, I've decided I really want to make French dip sandwiches for lunch. So I'm gonna go to the store get some stuff to make them. They sound like so good. I'm back from the grocery store. I had to go to three, first off, so cute. Had to go to three separate stores just to find this. Also, I actually can pronounce this. I learned how to do it today, but I'm too embarrassed and self-conscious to do it on camera. Turns out everyone in the world knows how to pronounce it besides me, so that's great. Um, this is just what I picked up from Trader Joe's. I'm giving you a little quick haul. I got some liquid stevia because I think Brooke talks about it a lot. So I wanted to get it. Um, I also got some cocoa peppermint almond creamer. So I'm excited to try that. I'll let you guys know if I like it. I got some pre-made soups just to have on hand and just eat with bread if I'm busy. I also got a salad just to have. I'm gonna make French dip, so I got stuff for that. 
Um, this is for my chicken bowl. This is just a snack. I'm gonna try out these sweet potato chips. This is my only option for a baguette for the sandwich today. Got some tortellini, I'm gonna make my favorite soup again this week. And then butter steak for the sandwiches and Italian sausage for the tortellini, which is my favorite recipe. And I have it on my Instagram if you guys are curious, but I share all of my recipes. They're not my recipes, but everything that I make on Instagram, on my reels. So I'm starting with my sandwiches right now. This is a really odd way to make steak, but I can, I forgot I don't have a cast iron here and I don't have a grill. And then I read on some blogs that they were like on a non-stick pan, it's actually the best, like weirdly enough. So, I mean, we'll see you guys. But the steak is cooking, the sauce that I also don't know how to pronounce is cooking. <laughs> Also, I just had to put on my glasses. See how professional this It's okay. Not the best. Yeah. So I'm thinking I really should just... Well, I guess... I don't know. It's going to be like a really, really filling sandwich. Also, by the way, you could have made these, like, cut these thinner. I just like everything, like, thicker. I don't know why. So that's just the personal preference. But for the actual sandwich, you could actually, like, cut it thinner or whatever you want. So anyways, it is dipped the steak into the whatever this is called and then i put it on here i'm gonna top it with some cheese and then broil it in the oven i don't want to film it i'm gonna show you guys something i'm uploading and running around the eye journal for the day let's see what is okay guys we are done it looks so good all right all right Oh, uh, look what we have here. Oh, would you look at that? I know you're awake. I literally just heard you on the phone. Nice try. Okay, we need to watch this show because you nope. never watch anything with me. Coco was watching it with me until you distracted me. man, look who dance. Bag made this talk. Girl, hey, you talented. Oh, we decided we needed cheesecake, took a nap today, just really relaxed, feels so good. I'm wearing my Dolly sweater. Mm. Dude, I started this new show called Are You The One? And I just feel like every reality show from the early, you know, OO is racist. That's like not where I thought you were going with that. Yeah. But also, it is very, just the tomfoolery. Um, in the first six minutes, Kenzie, the girls are already fighting. This one girl got onto a full-on, like, clapping in her face like that fight because someone moved the stuff, her stuff over. Dom, honestly, that would be you in a reality show. And no. I would, no, 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 listen. I would not have said you would be the one to get into drama in a reality show because you just don't get into drama as is now. However, yesterday... You shared some very revealing information about yourself. Kenny, that, you, that was the old me before Christ Jesus came into my life and made me Dom in high school. High school was like the Twitter drama girl. Yeah, I was because I called people out when they did things that were wrong. <laughs> Is that so poor like, of me? Give me an example of like something you would have said. Okay, for example, this guy cheated on his girlfriend who was my friend. Oh. And um, he was acting all like she's crazy, blah blah blah, this oh, blah yeah. blah blah that. And I said, no, she's actually not crazy. If anyone's crazy, it's you. And then I posted the red receipts, the receipts on the internet. <laughs> because, You've always been like this. Yes, because, You've always been like this. Because how are you gonna lie? Yeah, I mean, guys are notorious for that. Like, like I wouldn't always. like. Yeah, like I wouldn't be just dramatic for dramatic sakes. It's like if you're gonna make us look dumb, no, I'm gonna make you look dumb. You know what I just thought about? Serious question. It's so rare for a guy in a breakup to like actually admit that he was in the wrong. Yeah. Or like yeah. I'm the one in the wrong. It's always pushed back and projected on you. Yes, always. Always. And then like sometimes there's people who come around and like realize it and typically those people get married or something. Mm -hmm. But like for the most part it's just projection. Yeah. Is that do you, do other people agree with me? I have a feeling that people will be agreeing with me. Oh we're pulling up to Val's cheesecake right now. Second time this week. We're also gonna go to Sprouts because I really have been wanting to try Cameron Diaz's, is that our, no, there's no way. Cameron Diaz's, I, I don't know how he parked this way. I've been wanting to try Cameron Diaz's natural or like cool wine. Hi, um, I just placed an order for Dominique. Okay, 
here we are. I've never actually like bought wine at a, I'm not a wine person, so like, I probably looked dumb. I know what the bottle looks like, I'll recognize it. <gasps> oh, I found it. Wait, I think I want the white rind though. Look at me go, guys. Okay, I was right, guys. I think I want the white, but what if I don't even like the white? Try the white first. Since I was like completely sober at 21, I didn't get to experience these things, such as buying wine at the grocery store. I feel very mature today, you know, I'm 23. You know what's so terrifying? I'm gonna be 24 next year. How did that happen? I graduate college in like two days. Got the wine. Maddie also from OK Sis told me that I was telling her, you know, I'm like, don't really like drinking that much and like wine makes me feel gross. And she was telling me that I would probably have a better experience if I drink natural wines. And she was posting stories of natural wines today, which really is what inspired me and reminded me that I wanted to go pick up this wine to try. So we're heading home tonight. We have to film a recording our Christmas Eve episode. Can't wait. I can tell you seem really excited. No, I'm ex I love the book. Oh, I'm glad. I want it. I hope it's our book club again. We're reading in a holidays and to join the book club All you do is read the book follow us on social media and then listen to the podcast episode where we like debrief it The first half is gonna be like a normal episode with us though. So like regardless if you read the book listen to the episode Um, I really hope that they turn it into a movie. We're gonna talk about that Here we go guys I'm very excited to try When do I stop? I don't know Okay, it was really good. The dog started barking, but I actually really like it. Oh my gosh! Here is my wine. I feel so mature. Um, we got Val's cheesecakes again. I got the red velvet one this time. Last time we got the like Oreo. No, we got chocolate something. It was really good though. This is the book again. If you guys haven't joined book club, guys, you have to read it. It's a really cute, easy holiday rom-com read. But it's really, really good. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yeah, it just takes me like a really long time to drink it. Like literally one glass of anything will take me like a long time. I don't know if it's placebo, but it just doesn't taste as like sugary and gross. But you know, could just Do you be like dry wine. Yeah. Oh yeah, see no. I don't like I don't I don't want it to be like too too sweet, but I can do sweet, but I can't do red wine. Yeah. But, like white would be dry, considered dry, right? I think so. Okay, well. Guys, we are about to record. We're so excited. It's gonna be the Christmas Eve episode. We've got the Christmas vibes in full force here. Where's Fitz? Is he on the ground? Oh, let's see. He was on the chair in the office, oh. so I can hear him jump down. Oh no, he's coming up. Do you want to come in the room? Come on, Mr. Fitz. The whole gang. Oh my god, my room is so cluttered now. We're going to record, set your alarms on your calendars. I want to see screenshots of on, it should be every Thursday. Every Thursday morning. It should be every Thursday morning, but specifically Christmas Eve. It's going to be a good episode. Um, it's our Christmas gift to you, if you will. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Good morning, everyone. It's 5 a.m. Oops. Oops. So how do you feel about yourself ruining all these people's lives? Oh my gosh, Kenzie. I did see a comment that someone wanted me out of the vlogs. Maybe one out of like a thousand. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I'm just kidding. They gave me the boot. <laughs> the people have voted. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm glad that you're making this such a joke. No. Dom doesn't like taking accountability for her actions. So, also a DFW, guys, and you have to do the toll tag thing because I don't have a toll tag on this car. It's so annoying. Oh. Just kidding. It's like 5 a.m. I'm just finding every reason to be annoyed. Yeah. It's not. I should just took like a one hour nap. Really? Yeah, I've been awake this whole time. So, I'm just like, what's the point of going no. to bed? Last night, I finished my book. Um, what was it called? No, Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. It was very good. I had her on my podcast a long time, not a long time ago, over the summer. Then I read a little bit of Matthew McConaughey's book. And then I started a new book. And it's, oh, it's 
Little Perfects or something like that by Colleen Hoover, one of my favorite authors, in preparation for her new book that I've had pre-ordered that comes out on Tuesday. Oh. So I have been really trying to, you know, get through these books so that on Tuesday I can just devote that reading time to Colleen Hoover's newest book. But I had to get into the Colleen Hoover spirit. She has quite the cult following and I'm, I'm a part of it. Yeah, Kenzie, just such a fast well, yeah, but I I am, one, I actually am, like, a fast reader, so that helps, but two, I just don't ever watch shows or movies, so, like, in the same amount of time that you guys, like, watch, you know, series that I know nothing about, that it's embarrassing that I haven't seen them because I need to watch them, yeah. you know, I just read, so, like, if everyone read as much as they watch shows, they would read as much as me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. It is true. Period. It's, like, four hours a day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I probably do a little more than that, but my point is I know. but I'm not proud of not watching these things like I I need to watch them but it just really infringes upon my reading time yeah so do you see my problem yeah I do it's hard yeah you it's like it's, it's very so rare funny. if I can like get you to sit down and watch a show but me. it does happen like Dash what? and Lily I love that one yeah like Fitz and Coco will watch a show with me anytime like, they don't know what they're doing yes they do <laughs> I was convinced that they know, like, that Fitz actually follows the storyline of God. Yes, of Gilmore he does. Girls. He does. He looks away when Logan's on the screen. <sighs> oh my gosh. Well, anyways, Dom is leaving us. <sighs> Bye, everyone. She claims that she's coming back next week. I'll believe that when I see it. I'll come back. See, you're not saying when now. I am coming back next week. I have to. Um, I don't trust that. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh my god. I won't believe that until I pick you up from DFW and I see it with my own two eyes. Hey, I mean, I'll make sure to send my flight stuff. Oh yeah. Also, Dom decided that we needed, that she wanted to book a 5 a.m. flight, so that was so kind of her too. I'm sorry, Kenzie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Would oh, you prefer? What a am I doing? Would you prefer a 5 a.m. flight or something at 12 a.m.? Like a red eye. Like you dropping me off for a red eye flight. Uh, I feel like you would prefer waking up early rather than staying up to do Yeah, I mean, I, I, neither, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that really. I don't know. It depends on what time the. No, because I would drop you off at 10. That's fine. It depends. What? Which number? 20. Switch it you good. Dang, Kenzie, you're really kicking me to the curb. Oh uh, my god. She acts like I am leaving her and that I kicked her out when she's fully leaving on her own. Well, Kenzie, well, everyone, it's been such a fun vlogmas. I'll be back later this week. But until then, Kenzie, stay strong. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for the mask. I just can't. Thanks believe. for the memories. <laughs> I just can't believe she's literally leaving me. This is so sad. This is actually so sad. Like, I'm actually, just in denial. If I'm gonna wake up it, when I go back to sleep and then wake up and I'll be like, what? Like, it'll just be weird to wake up and be like, oh, shoot. I know. I don't hear Kenzie waking up way before me. <laughs> and going back to bed. Oh, wow. Well, Kenzie. <laughs> I would normally help her, but I'm just mad at her. <laughs> I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping. I'm not supposed to get out of my car. Okay, well, all the love. Bye, Dom. Um, my number one hater. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the I Love You So Much podcast. This is the huge. I know, I've just always wanted to say that. <sighs> okay, bye, Kenzie. I love you so much. Bye, Dom. Oh. Oh, it's freezing. Ooh, I think I'm at... I can't believe. I cannot believe this. Okay, we're gonna listen. Let's hear what they have. I'm gonna finish the podcast, head home, maybe go back to sleep. There's Dom leaving. Can you believe this? Happy Sunday, guys. I'm so excited for today. Be putting on my favorite perfume. My dresser is a mess. I'm waiting for a piece of art to get here. So then I can finish the dresser and my room will pretty much be done then, which will be nice. So it's very zen. One of my dresser drawers broke, so I've got to figure that out. 
Guys, my room just feels like so good. Also, I finished another book last night. Let me show you. You guys really want like more book recs, I guess, in the vlogs. That's like one of the number one things I've been getting from you guys. So I finished, let's see. I finished Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. Really liked that. Oh, I already talked about that this morning. Oh my God, I can't believe I vlogged this morning, guys. That feels like years ago. That is so weird. Okay, well, I've already talked about this. Come on, guys. Koba, come on. We have to go film Grand Hill, guys. Come on. You I mean, look at him. He's so sleepy today. I went back to bed this morning, woke up, got ready. We're actually going to American Girl today, which I'm so excited for. I'll show you guys a little overlay of what I'm wearing. The sweater is Revolve. Jeans are legit $11 from Walmart. And my boots are free people. I have not been able to see them online. I got them like years ago. I might just wear my nude coat. I feel like I've been wearing that a lot. I feel like that's my, yeah. This is, this is what I, I'm feeling today. We're going to American Girl today. We went last year, we're going again this year. It's our new tradition. We're taking Sophie. They're actually kind enough to like invite us into the store, get us brunch reserved, all of that stuff. But I am so excited. I grew up on American Girl. So like as much as this is for Sophie, it's for me too. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm about to head out. I've just been cleaning all morning, doing laundry, all of that stuff. And we're about ready to go. Hi guys. I just filmed a little bark box brand new video that will be coming up in a like future vlog it's not this one but like look at how cute the dog treats are in these bark box boxes like, are you joking fitz and coco love me more than they ever have right in this very very second i'm really ready to go i feel like i've been really slow the past like 24 hours i don't know what's up okay guys i'm walking in i'm walking in to American Girl at the Galleria. I literally never come to the Galleria because you know I'm such a North Park gal, but I come here for American Girl. Hey right, guys, this is why American Girl is so cool. Are you kidding? That's just so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. First off, it's way busier than it normally is, but second, it's a recording studio. Are you kidding? <gasps> so, hi. <gasps> hi, how are you? Aw, you're so cute. Earl Grey English breakfast, hi. green tea, English breakfast. English breakfast, all right, two English breakfast, and a chocolate milk, and for you. Thank you. Sophie, where are we? At the Yes. Yeah, why are you shy now all of a sudden? Are you excited? Do you not? No, I'm just excited and smiling. Oh, are you? Are you so excited for our other vlog to go up? Did your mom show you the little video? No? You didn't see it? Oh, you did see it? It's so cute. It'll go up next weekend while we're at the lake. Yeah, really? No way. Yeah, way. No way. Yeah, way. Okay, yeah, way. Okay, we're at the bistro. This is exactly yeah. where we sat last year. She's, ooh. What is that, Sophie? American Sophie, Girl Trivia? You I know what you want. Do you want fancy fruit fondue? Yeah, really it's good. chocolate on fruit. Yeah. Okay. You don't? Who okay doesn't like mac and cheese, so. Okay. Do you like pizza? Pepperoni or cheese? Okay, so do you want to do that or do you want to hear the most of the other stuff? Pizza. Okay, we, you can get pizza. So you're going to get fancy fruit fondue and pizza. We'll get some one second. Okay. Get my What'd you say? Oh, thank you. Sophie said that she wanted to record. Sophie, are you going to come on my podcast? Do you know what a podcast is? We're watching the vlog, literally sitting here exactly a year ago. Is that mine? No, they gave us a doll, but they're probably not doing that because of COVID right now. Showing you coconut. You know Coco, Coconut the dog is named after the American Girl doll dog? Yeah. Yeah, that is so cute. Isn't that cute? This, I'm not gonna lie guys, the food in American Girl is actually really good. We got the spinach and artichoke Kenzie, Kenzie. dip. Yes, yes. This one, this one is like a smoothie. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a fondue thing, so you can dip it in there. It's like a little fruit dip. So you Yeah, so dip like dip your fruit. your fruit. Can I do it for you? No, there's hers. Yeah, di here, and then eat it like that. Wait, let me try. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Is it good? 
Sophie. They brought her a little special drink. Are you excited? Wait, it's an actual another chocolate milk. But like, look at it. There's chocolate syrup. It's special. Uh huh. She was so cute when it's she like got a car. spider. Goes, I'm excited. No, it's literally. Like, Sophie, when you vlog, you turn the camera too much. Um, she's shaky. But she did like I'm teaching like, Sophie how to do you. like the oh. squares. I made code. Oh, thank you, American girl. Yeah. yeah. Here's lunch. Yeah. Oh. That might be a little. Oh, okay. Ready? Why? Oh. You. Did you guys hear that? She said she left me a voice. You guys are not even listening. Sophie, just spell the word. What? Do it again, Soph. Why? Oh, you. She's so smart. Good job. You are so smart, Soph. We got a chocolate cake. Oh. Yep. Do you want to show them your flower? Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. And there she gets a craft and some hair ties and some sanitizing wipes. There should be enough hair ties and wipes for everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can do for y'all? Wait, wait a second. Can you, can you make a mask for your doll? I think you can make a mask for your doll. Sophie actually loves her mask. Like literally loves it. I she was at my house recently. Literally. And we went from my house literally. to my driveway to my car. Literally. And I don't put my mask on until I'm like I out in really public, idea. like going yeah. into Target. And she goes, um, Kinsey, where's your mask? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll put it on in my car right now. And I'm making Oh look! These are your, the American Girl hair ties. Oh yeah. Remember? And we have sanitizing wipes. Okay. Oh, you're already out. We are getting stuff that I want for Christmas. Oh, very good. Uh, what do you have so far? Um, ears, ears, and, and hair styling. Cute. Sophie, this is what I'm talking about. We can get you matching outfits with your doll. Oh yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? The elf. The elf okay, on the shelf? That is so funny, so. Okay, we'll think about that one. But Sophie, look. Oh wait. No, they do have this. Okay. Wait, what's in so? Uh, a toothbrush. Um, oh, my like That's a cute outfit. Toothpaste. Cute. They have. Oh my gosh, the really polls, the vote stuff is cute. I love the sparkle gray. Or oh, gold gold. so cute. Yeah, the artist. The artist. Yes, the artist. Yes, we could. We're gonna do this for Sophie's birthday. So, when's your birthday? Um, Good job. They even have a polar right now, guys. Like, are you joking? Yeah. We got her that last year. Don't you have that? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Wait, no way, Soph. And that is Sophie, so cute. Look at this one. Pizza, popcorn, and you movies, can match these. <laughs> you can get those pajamas. Your doll can get matching, and then this, and then we can have a sleepover at my house. But I think that's a, oh, or maybe that, oh no it is No, it's in there, the yeah. They're in there. Oh, so smart, rocket to the moon. I got that dog. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> no way. Sophie, no way. That is so cute. M-E-R-R-U. Why, you were so close. Why? Mary. I already said why. Oh yeah, you already said it, okay. <laughs> Didn't you get gymnastics stuff last year? Yeah. No, this is yeah, new. Oh, so can you say "Oh my gosh" again? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That is so cool. I really want to get it. You really want to get it? Okay, it's so cute, isn't it? Yes, I really want to get it. I really want to get it. Is that your favorite out of all of them? Yes. It is. Okay. Sure. Sophie, are you surfing? Yes. You were so much taller than you were last year. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. We're checking out. Ooh. So, what did you get today? Uh, Two dogs? Yes. Yes. That's what I got. Oh, so cute. That one is and a husky dog. Oh, yeah. And, sure. and Mary Ellen. Period dog. Oh, cute. I think Mary Ellen is a doll's name. I think that's a newer doll. Oh. She had a lot of cute clothes, so. Oh, I think I got the biggest vibe that you could ever get an American girl. Sophie, did you have so much fun? We're going home. Did you have so much fun? Yes. Yes? Do you want to come back next year? Yes. Yes. Can you show them your sweater? Show them what it does? Whoa. That's crazy. Oh, hair flip. Okay, guys, I'm home. Here's my box for American Girl. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Slash also, I have a lot of gifts that I need to wrap today. So I'm going to watch Vlogmas and wrap some gifts. 
I changed into comfy clothes. So I'm wearing my Aritzia sweatpants, some Amazon slippers, a Comfort Colors t-shirt. You guys get annoyed that most of my vlog clips are like literally from this location? Let me know, okay? This is playing with all his BarkBox toys that are in his crate. I know this is niche, but some of us are shopping for five-year-old girls, you know? I got Sophie's doll a Christmas outfit to wear. I'm gonna give a few of her gifts to her at the lake house next weekend and the rest of them on Christmas. She really wanted this elf on the shelf, which is like so random. I don't even think she is elf on the shelf, but she'll have fun with this, hopefully. She really wanted a watch and then these earrings, I actually have to go back and take her to get her doll's ears pierced soon because she forgot her doll today. And then we have this cute little robe that I thought was so cute. So we have all of this stuff right here. Also, Sophie has all the books that you guys saw in another vlog or maybe this one. Okay, I got her the Julie pinball machine, which is what she really, really wanted. She like lost her mind off of, over this. So I, it's really cute. My mom and I love Julie and American Girl. And I'm just so glad that honestly, I just love American Girl. It really just brings back all the good memories. So I'm actually gonna get to wrapping the rest of my gifts. I have probably like 10 to 15 to wrap, so I need to do that. Gonna watch some Vlogmas vlogs. Comment below who your favorite Vlogmas vlogger has been. All right guys, I finished wrapping a few more presents. I'm still not all the way done. I actually ran out of wrapping paper which is really frustrating because at first I was trying to just do one wrapping paper for like my mom's side and then my dad's side, but at this point it was just too difficult. So these are all of Sophie's presents. I'm pretty sure that's everything I got her. I got her a bunch of books and just like other things that she wanted and whatever, you know, niece things. So this is Sophie's stack right here. She's definitely the Christmas fave. Then I just had a few more here. Um, like friends presents things like that that I'm just keeping under the tree. I feel like the tree is gonna be it's already pretty full under here So it looks good That is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much Don't forget to enter my giveaway that's currently going on on Instagram and I will see you soon or tomorrow. Okay. Bye